Oregon State University's custom StarCraft II domain, Tug of War, presents an interesting environment to observe and explain an AI's decisions. This short video will briefly discuss the explanation interface. After all participants have completed the prediction task, the participants are asked to unpause the game and observe the actions. As we can see, the friendly AI chose to build an immortal in the top lane at decision point 6. We can also note that the enemy AI chose to build a marine in the top lane. After entering the unlock code, participants are now able to view the explanation tree for the decision point that they made a prediction on. This is the state action decision tree for decision point 6. In this tree, the rectangular boxes represent game states. Since this is the tree for decision point 6, the topmost state represents the game state at decision point 6. The AI uses this state to inform its decision. The state box shows a simplified version of the map at a particular decision point. Marines, Immortals, and Banelings are represented as circles, squares, and diamonds, respectively. The size of the shape in the states is proportional to the quantities of troops currently on the map. The top and bottom lanes, as well as the health of all four nexus, are shown. This state shows the friendly AI observed the map at decision point 6, where there were some enemy banelings on the map. This blue house-shaped node extending from this state represents the action the friendly AI is going to take. The blue boxes represent the quantities of buildings it already owns in each lane, and the boxes outlined in black indicate what it intends to purchase. This diagram shows that the friendly AI owns five marine producing buildings in the top lane and has chosen to purchase one immortal building in the top lane. This number is the win probability the friendly AI has calculated. It expects that if it takes this action and builds an immortal in the top lane, it will have a 99.75% chance of winning by destroying the enemy AI's top lane nexus. Below the friendly AI's action is the enemy AI's predicted action. The friendly AI predicts the enemy AI will purchase two marine buildings in the bottom lane. The friendly AI is able to perform a two-state look ahead. If both AIs take the previously mentioned actions, the friendly AI predicts decision point 7 will look like this. If we recall what actually happened in the game, the friendly AI's prediction of what the enemy AI will do is actually wrong. The reality is that the enemy AI purchased a marine in the top lane. Following the tree down, these previous predictions lead the friendly AI to think decision point 8 will look like this. The AI considers many possible futures and many possible actions. The leftmost future is expanded by default because the AI has determined it is the best possible action. Actions are displayed in descending order. Participants can click on the state node and show more actions. If a participant clicks on this enough times, eventually they will reach the worst possible action. Participants can select any node they want and view the futures. One can drag the nodes around to compare them. Participants in the model-based treatment will see this full tree, while participants in the model-free treatment will only see the friendly AI's actions.